And it looks like we'll be starting this new episode with a defense level, in fact, so one more hit should do it. There we go, 87 defense coming in, so welcome back to this new episode, guys. Loads of stuff that I have planned to do in this one, uh, so, you know, without any further ado, let's start this one with some Slayer. I'm planning to do some, I'm not gonna, you know, do too much during this episode, because as I said, I have a lot of other plans that I want to complete, but anyways, we need to continue slowly, uh, you know, working on Slayer passively, I guess, because at level 91, I will be able to kill that uh, lovely beast Cerberus, which allows us to upgrade our boots, and they do have dragon boots that I can upgrade, and infinity boots as well, I only need to get rangers, which hopefully will get uh, done passively as well while doing Slayer, but other than that, enjoy the rest of the episode, you guys. And some more skill hopping coming in, there we go for 87 feeling, nothing new at this level, but yeah, anyways, my friend once again had a Night Lord, so I figured I would go and do some thieving, but they actually left when I was pretty close to a level, so I figured, ah, what the hell, I'll just go and uh, finish it off by lowering a knight myself. It actually should despawn in like a minute or so, so no big deal there. But anyways, 87 thieving, 12 more levels for this one. XP wise, it's obviously still a long way to go, but for now, I think it's time to resume uh, the diary completion. So yeah, I think I'll be back with Baroque Diary right now. No fucking way. <laughs> Do you guys see this shit? That's what I am doing this task for. Fuck yes. 66 KC and I got it. So uh, yeah, I guess I should uh, say that. Yeah, I've got a Kraken tentacle task and I figured that I might as well go ahead and do some Kraken boss because Kraken boss is... Uh, if you asked some certain Iron Man, he would say that Kraken boss is the hardest boss there is. And yeah, I mean, jokes aside though, like... I wanted to get this because now that I have this, obviously I have two whips in my bank so I can make myself a Kraken whip or whatever it's called and I'm actually set for God Wars I think or at least attempt God Wars because you know, but pretty much base 90 melees I have is more than enough to go do Bandos and for Zami as well, like, I'm obviously only going to be doing Zami when I get greater demon task, but uh, with Slayer Helm and Arclight I can try and do Zami as well, because I do have the gear required, you know, I have the important Barrows pieces, as you guys probably already know, and I all I was missing for you know, Bandos attempts is, I guess, this thing right here. Okay, so since we are at the bank right now, I'm banking for more supplies, I guess we can make this lovely thing right here. How much are whips now? Wow, they're actually almost 2 mil, lovely. So anyways, the tentacle, yeah, yeah, I know, you cannot reverse. A, a bit, oh yeah, that's how it's called, the abyssal tentacle, let's check. 10k more attacks, lovely, so, oh man, I feel like I'm best Iron Man alive already. Yeah, <laughs> no fucking way, exactly 100 KC later, exactly 100, so... In 166 Kraken kills, I got a trident and two Kraken tentacles. I mean, I think this task is going well. Can I get the pet and jar and be jar and be done with this boss forever? Like, can I? And it's a more of king at Oak, so managed to get myself a medium clue. Holy shit! Did I just get full Addy, a battle axe, and a U combo in one medium clue? And I got one more. Once again, nothing, but this one has 40k, however, wow, this is actually pretty decent for a medium clue. That's nice, I guess, yeah, I just threw it, so I believe this should be the mini quest completed, right? Like, as soon as this one, yeah, there we go, it got green right there, but anyways, I should have, yeah, shadow sword and full ghostly robes in my inventory so i did complete the course of the empty lord and general shadow mini quest because now with these completed i should have enough kudos to claim myself the hard diary reward so let's go ahead and cash in those kudos and get ourselves those uh u-roots so i can finish off the varrock diary up to hard Okay, wow, so I actually just got all the kudos that I need, you know, before the fossil island, I guess, and I was struggling a bit because I was missing five kudos for some reason, and my friends in FC helped me out because, uh, and I thought I would, you know, mention this in a video in case any of you guys are struggling as well with kudos, 
about this thing right here. I actually did not know that this thing exists. Like you can check this uh, thing in the corner and it shows where you have not, you know, which kudos you have unlocked and which kudos you have not. Because for for me, for example, I didn't have this one right here. This is a book from the Varrock Palace Library or whatever. And uh, yeah, you know, like honestly, it helped me so much. So if you guys are struggling with kudos, feel free to check this booth right there. It, honestly helps so much but anyways other than that let's go ahead and finish off the diary okay so now be right back in 10 hours after i actually managed to chop this yew tree oh wow this was actually really quick only few uh, four logs that was lucky so yeah this should give me the roots right and there we go pop up oh fuck's sake i didn't talk to the orlando smith guy or whatever actually that's gonna be my last task now i guess fucking hell Okay, so I think I can just like do this and walk away. Yeah? No? What? Are you serious? I am so confused right now. Tri oh my freaking god, are you kidding me right now? How am I failing this bad? Okay, attempt number 502. Yeah, okay. Where is it? Dashing cabinet. There we go. I have it. Oh. Okay, it's stage one. And I believe if I wear it now, this should be stage two. There we go. And pop up. Lovely. You have completed all of the hard tasks in the Varrock area. Speak to the guy to claim your reward. Now, lovely. I don't think I need to carry the body with me. So I think I should just space bar with this guy and he should me the should give me the medium one first yes there we go and now the hard one as well lovely so now i can buy 100 no 60 battle stuffs that is a day from zaf but i don't really need those because well i kind of i don't know i'm not gonna do that i guess on my iron man i might do it in the future but not now until anyway so let's use the lamps on herblore and to get some XP completed, 7.5k and 15k, that one's yes, lovely, still have the free Herblore XP, man, 25k to level 78, that's actually not bad, and now let's go ahead and complete the wieldy one. Man, these things have a lot of HP, don't they, 131 for level, what, 80? I guess this could be a potential training method for pures or whatever if they were in a safe zone or something but anyways this should pop up right yes there we go you have completed all of the easy tasks let's go ahead and knock out the mediums one uh, mediums now and this shall be the medium one yes there we go so all we have left i guess is the hard one so let's go ahead and finish off that one as well i actually saw that this one requires for me to kill the yeah, kill Chaos Elemental, Crazy Archaeologist, Crazy F Chaos Fanatic, and Scorpia, in fact. I haven't done any of those bosses, so hopefully I can actually kill those. I mean, I mean, they should be able, though it's fucking easy, but yeah, let's just go ahead and finish off the diary. So one of the tasks as well is actually to attack a player in wilderness using one of the god spells and I'm kind of gonna, you know, shoot a bird, uh, two birds with one stone on this one because I needed to unlock all the spells anyways if I want to get myself the mage arena two capes which I have been putting off for quite a while I guess so yeah since now I will have uh, these all three spells unlocked after I cast 100 uh, of each spell in this place, I guess I will be able to get myself the capes after I complete the diaries because I definitely need to get those capes because they are quite nice looking and, you know, they are best in slot uh, for magic, so yeah. Nice, so that is the first spell completed. It even gave the pop-up message, which I was actually not expecting, so now let's change the spell, I guess, and unlock the other one. And that is two spells out of three, so let's grab the last one, which is actually Sarah Domen, and finish this task off, I guess. Okay, well, kind of forgot that I was close, but can't say that I did not expect this. So yeah, we got a magic level out of this in the end as well, so 86 magic coming in, you guys. And this shall be the last cast, there we go. So all spells are now unlocked, I guess I'm now eligible to... Go ahead and attempt the Mage Arena 2, in fact, as well. I can actually 
go ahead and start it now, I guess, since I will be at the bank anyways, and whenever I feel like doing it, I can just do it. But other than that, for now, I guess, let's just continue on with the diaries, because we still have the entire hard part of the wilderness diary to complete. Okay, so I believe this should be the task completed. Yes, there we go, and the message is right here. Let's thank our lovely friend. Oh, I mean, uh, thank you, not retweet. Our lovely friend Wiki right here, and now let's go ahead and grab the reward because yeah, the diary is completed. Uh, this one was a little bit annoying, but not too much, I guess. And yeah, it's done. And anyways, in the end, but now the reward, obviously, man, I love these lamps, and I think this will give me a herbler level. In fact, there we go. Will be sword one, will be sword two, and will be sword three. I don't even remember, in fact, what do this uh, you know diary gives you after you complete it. But it's not really important, I guess. Anyways, let's. Put these XP on Herblor as usual, first of all, and this should be the level, right? Yes, lovely. 78 fucking Herblor coming in. You can now make Zami Brews. Not really important as well, but anyways, there we go for another diary. So now all we have left is Western one, hard part of the Lumbridge, hard part of the Ardoin, and the desert one. So in total, four diaries. So I decided to go ahead and uh, do the Lumbi and RD diaries next. And I figured, you know, I would start with some RC because that is one of the requirements for both of the diaries. For Lumbridge one, I needed 59, which I already have, obviously. But for RD one, I need 65 to craft death runes. And I believe the last time I recorded, my rune crafting level was 56. So this is a four level jump. And wow, I did not know that you actually need 60 RC to craft Cerberus boots. Anyways, I guess we have the requirement for that now, but other than that, 60 RC coming in, so gonna finish off 65 now, and after I do that, I guess we'll be able to knock out RD Diary, and then we will need to do some more work for Olumbi one, because I need bones to peaches for that one, and we will knock out that one too. Man, honestly, I cannot believe that I didn't burn out on this journey, and I did... 56 to 65 room crafting straight without any breaks and now can I and I can now craft that for this is honestly fucking amazing because Yeah, I mean I used to hate your room crafting so much back in the day and now I just did it from six uh, from 56 to 65 in one go Okay, so we need to get what 11 more levels XP wise. It's a lot more obviously. I think it's like 1 million XP but oh, yeah yeah, it's actually, it's almost exactly 1 million XP more that I need to get, but I don't think I actually have enough essence. Yeah, I have 43k essence left. I had 60k exactly, so I guess in 18k essence or so, I gained something like what? Ah, man, I don't know how much XP is 56 and something like 200k. So 250k runecrafting XP, let's say in... Let's say... 220k essence, so... Okay, so I believe I have something like 500 or 600k more runecrafting XP bank. So I guess I need to get more essence for like 400k, I guess. And I will have the, you know, level 77 for Blood Set Zaya, which, mean I, which will mean that I won't need any more essence to craft the that thing anyway. But anyways, I'm rambling. So let's just, you know what, now that we have the requirement, let's go ahead and finish off the hard Ardoin di diary. Okay, so I got two tasks left, in fact, so let's enter this house right here. First one is to smith a rune plate, uh, sorry, mithril plate, buddy, so that should trigger, right? Yes, there we go, and now I will not pull a soup guide trick on, the, on me, and yeah, this should pop up the message, right? Even for an experiment, it's not easy to ask, eventually it is ready, you have restored the dragon's curse shield to its formal glory. There we go, 75 XP and the pop-up message. Obviously, you have completed all of the hard tasks in Ardoin area. Speak to two pins to claim your reward. Also, a dragon square shield, freaking lovely. I actually, have I ever had a dragon square shield equipped? I honestly do not know. It looks so cool as well, like... Dragon Kite Shield looks even more better, obviously, now that we have that in the game, I honestly cannot wait to get that myself. But other than that, let's go ahead and claim the reward. And there we go, Mod Lottie is in the, bar as, in the bar as usual, so let's skip through this dialogue. 
And there we freaking go, Ardoin Cloak Free. Man, this one looks pretty freaking nice, even though the previous one looked nice as well. But anyways, this lamp as well, how much XP does it give? 15k, right? Yes, more free Hellbore XP, which we will appreciate every time we get it. But yeah, now I only have three dyers left. Yeah, so hard part for the Lumbi one, which I need to get bones to peach it, peaches, so this one will take some time. And then it's desert and western one, so yeah, I guess I will knock out those in the next episode for sure. Uh, sorry that I didn't manage to squeeze all of these in this episode, because I got distracted, I guess, by Kraken and by Giant Mole. But, you know, in the end it was definitely worth it, because we got the tentacle and stuff like that. So, yeah, once again, I'll just say that thank you guys so much for watching another episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!